Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for joining me on another video. Today I'm going to be talking the new tracks. I said I would uh, do an update uh, video once I got to use it for a few hours and I did. I probably have about roughly 15 hours on it now with the new tracks. Uh, very happy. It is a 95% improvement if the lugs on the tracks are staggered like this. If they're lining up, you're going to have a rough time on concrete huge difference huge huge difference i'm able to go to, on concrete doesn't shake the whole machine great improvement uh like the the ones in the thumbnail as you could see the old tracks uh, the lugs were lining up perfectly and what happened is uh the guider wheels i mean the roller wheels were just bouncing right through them and it was a miserable ride on concrete um and while i was out here uh, do an update video i thought you know i would uh i add an extra spring here for just a little bit more bounce because they were kind of bottoming out um i did not cut them long enough so i just added a quick spring here and a big improvement uh i think this is going to solve my issue where uh, my feet are not cooking uh what i did here is uh as you could see i took off about two inches all the way across the front of this pad here so the hot air flows right through it it doesn't uh, uh, bounce off it and go on my feet because what it was doing is that this uh, this actual metal uh, stand you stand on it was actually uh, much up there and then air, hot airflow wasn't passing down so I cut that a little bit uh, found some angle iron laying around got two pieces welded them together came across all the way across put a tiny weld on both sides uh, I roughly gave me about four inches so what's gonna happen that hot air from the radiator is just gonna hit it and just deflect down with that cut out now so uh, I'm hoping because uh, in the summertime it's just miserable you can only use the machine for about an hour and your feet are cooking if the machine is hot so uh, I'm going to use that here in the next few days, and I'll make a quick update video on that. But I think this is going to solve my issue because uh, I've been studying it. I've been sticking my hand underneath there, see where the hot air was coming. And also, uh, the shield at the battery, there was a shield right there. That was removed because uh, it was just blocking all the hot air, too. And probably that's why my battery went bad, because it just cooked the battery, the hot air. So that's gone. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, if, uh, if you're having problems with tracks, just uh, make sure when you order new ones that they're staggered like that. Uh, it's a great ride on concrete now. All right, guys, that was just a quick update on my mini loader. Everything else is good on it. Um, I'll be picking up a different one, a little bit bigger one. It's still going to have a 36-inch uh, width where I can get in uh, gates. Uh, but it's time to move up to something a little bit bigger that I can pick up a little bit more weight. I will post a video when I get that, but any questions, comments, leave them down below, and I will see you on the next video. See ya. Right